Hi, I'm John from 24HourMovieMarathon.com, and like, I'd like to show you my app called Movie Marathon Time. When I'm putting together a movie marathon, picking out the movies is the fun part, but the hard part is putting them all together into a schedule that actually works. I've used spreadsheets to lay out movie run times, break times, play order, and other information in the past, and that's definitely better than a paper and pencil. But it's still a pain to manually look up the movie info on one of the movie sites out there, copy and paste runtime and other information into the spreadsheet, manually copy and paste movie all around as I try to work on the schedule. It's, it's all just a time-consuming chore. And to address that, I wrote the app called Movie Marathon Time. With this app, I can quickly look up movies, add them, and rearrange them into a schedule that works for me. So let me show you how it works. Here's the app on your screen right here, and I already have a new movie marathon already set to go. It's empty, so not really much going on in here. So, how about the very first movie we add to this awesome new movie marathon is some mind-bending sci-fi action. So, of course, that can only be referring to The Matrix. So we search for The Matrix. After a bit of waiting, there's all the information courtesy of uh, TMDB, the movie database .org. Thank you. And voila, the matrix is two hours, 16 minutes long. If I start at noon, I'll end at uh, 216. It's pretty great. So if we start out with some very heavy you know, material like the matrix, I think the next thing that we're going to need is some good old 1980s style humor. So let's look up Ghostbusters. And yeah, there's the 2016 Ghostbusters, but I think we will select 1984 style Ghostbusters. And there we go. We can see now that our movie marathon is composed of two movies at four hours and three minutes total. Pretty awesome. And after watching Ghostbusters, I think what you really want after that is to add something sophisticated to your movie marathon. So you can't really get any better than Hamlet. So let's go pick that out and since there's multiple choices for hamlet out there i think your best choice among the bunch is kenneth Branagh's version and all four hours of its glory and there we go and we now have a very respectable eight hour and five minutes movie marathon Now that we have movies in the schedule, I can rearrange their order just by dragging and dropping them. So you can see here that I got Matrix, Ghostbusters, Hamlet. If I really want to open up the marathon with Ghostbusters instead of the Matrix, no problem. Drag and drop, and there you go. You'll notice that all the start and stop times are auto-recalculated based on movie length and relative order, which is pretty awesome. But you know, we can also decide that, hey, you know what? turns out that maybe Hamlet's just a little bit too much for this movie marathon at four hours and all. So that's no problem. You can just swipe and it's gone. And again, the number of movies, the total runtime for the marathon is auto recalculated uh, to be about four hours and three minutes here. Another feature I really appreciate is keeping track of break time. The Movie Marathon Time app gives you two ways of putting in breaks. The first way is you can insert them into the schedule just like a movie. So I can press the Add button down here, and instead of just adding another movie, I can add a break. There's the break. It ends up at the very end of the marathon. I can give it its own name. Let's just call it Dinner Time. Okay. I can give it its own length. We'll give ourselves 60 minutes for dinner. And voila, still have two movies, but now the marathon itself is five hours and three minutes instead of four hours and three minutes. The second way to add breaks is in between the movies by adding padding at the end of each movie. This is a useful feature because you need at least a little bit of break time in between each movie in your schedule to make sure everything runs smoothly. I mean, we all have to go to the bathroom at least once or twice here and there. 
So the app can do this automatically or manually. To do it automatically, you can go to the Movie Marathon settings icon up here and say you'd like to auto align the schedule to say 15 minute increments. Oops, not 150, how about 15? And there you go. You can see that each individual movie in the schedule is now aligned to 15 minute increments. Here it just happens to fall along 30 minute increments, but that works so well too. And the overall length of the movie marathon has increased to five hours and 30 minutes. Now, if it turns out you really want to have some very specific break times for a very specific movie, like you want to have some extra time for lunch or dinner, that's not a problem. You can just go to the detail page for the movie and edit it yourself. So if we go here, see the Ghostbusters page, we can see that the uh, scheduler automatically added 13 minutes to the end of this movie in the marathon. Let's say we don't want thir 13 minutes. We really, really want 43 minutes for some very good reason. And back we go. Now we're not at five and a half hours, we're at six hours. And we can see that everything was auto-calculated in the schedule as you'd expect. If you need some good ideas for movies to add to your movie marathon, then all you have to do is head on over to the navigation bar in the app, and you can see there are some resources available to you. First is the Movie Marathon Ideas webpage which will bring you right on over to 24hourmoviemarathon.com's Movie Marathon Ideas page. If I do say so myself, there are many, many awesome suggestions and awesome links that you can follow to give you some great ideas. But if you're not satisfied with that, you can feel free to take a look at the Movie Marathon book, uh, which tells you all about how to host a fantastic 24-hour movie marathon. Uh, this is also an exceptionally well-written and excellent resource, if I do say so myself. You can also see a reference to this help video and other help videos I might be making, send some feedback on the app, or just learn generally about the, the version of the app, etc. So that's really just a quick tour of uh, the app Movie Marathon time. There's a few other features like sharing to Facebook, text message, or whatever that are available in there. We can also sort based on name and runtime. I'm sure you can find those on your own and they're pretty self-explanatory. But I hope that you enjoyed this tour of my Movie Marathon app as much as I did making it. I really do love Movie Marathons and I love making them easier to plan and organize. So this app is available for your Android device today, so download it and let me know what you think. Happy marathoning!